Welcome everyone to IM200 Information Systems for Managers. This will be a brief overview video of the course. First we have the announcements content area. Each week I will be posting an announcement pertaining to what assignments you should be currently working on. Next we have the start here area. You're going to want to make sure that you review each step within the start here area before moving forward. Next we have the professor information. Please feel free to contact me at any time. You can email me, you can call me, you can set up an appointment via Starfish, or you can contact the business division at 569-1620 to schedule an appointment. Keep in mind, even though this is an online class, I am here for you if you need anything or have any questions or concerns pertaining to the class. Next, we have the course syllabus and assignment schedule. Please ensure to review this information so you know the expectations of the course. Next, we have the course content, weekly modules. Each week, you should be going here and reviewing the information work within the weekly modules. So, of course, the first one is module one. They're going to have the same structure. At the top, you're going to have the learning objectives. Then you will have the assignment summary, which will detail what you should be working on within that particular module. Course content, which will be reading the chapter, reviewing the PowerPoint presentation, flashcards, reviewing videos. Next, we have a discussion board assignment about global outsourcing for module one. Next, we have the Module 1 Spreadsheet Training. Make sure you complete the spreadsheet training before, before attempting the spreadsheet project. Obviously, it's going to be a lot easier if you complete the training before attempting the project. Next is the Spreadsheet Project. Make sure you're reviewing the steps before attempting the project. There's a video that walks you through how to accomplish the project. Next, I have some Module 1 database training videos. I realize that most of you have no experience with Microsoft Access, so make sure that you review these videos before even attempting the database training. Next is the database training, then the database project, and last within the module is the Module 1 Information Systems and Overview Quiz. The next content area is discussion board, and you may say, well, I, the discussion board was within the weekly module. Why do I have to go here? Is it a different discussion board? And the answer is no. This would be like a quick link to the assignments instead of having to go back and dig through the module. Once you already reviewed the information, you can actually just use these quick links to get to the assignments, such as the discussion board or the same assignments, which would be the spreadsheet training, project, database training, and project, and also the test quizzes. So keep in mind, the discussion board link, the SAM assignments link, and the test and quizzes, it's just shortcut to the assignments so you do not have to go back to the weekly modules. With that said, at the beginning of each week, you should be reviewing the information within the weekly module first. I would not say use the assignment shortcuts first go to the weekly modules, review the information, then you may use the shortcuts. Next, we have the PowerPoint presentations. Make sure you're reviewing that. This information, obviously, then again, is within the weekly module, but this is just a shortcut, so you don't have to con continually go through it. Next, we have the student resources. Um, a lot of great information here. Uh, some of you may be aware of most of it. Um, some of you may be new students, so make sure you review it. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to uh, me if you want to. You can reach out to the area that you have the question about. Um, it's completely up to you, but just always keep in mind I am here as a resource. And, and I've been with the college for over 17 years, so I'm, I'm sure if I don't know the answer, I can find the person that does for you. Okay, next we have the My Grades. So when you click on my grades, you're going to see the list of all the assignments. And at the very bottom, you're going to see current average and final average. And this tends to throw students at the beginning. They will complete 
two assignments and they get 100% and their current average says 100%. So they're excited about that. But then they look at the final average and it's like 1%. And they say, well, am I failing the course? And the answer is no. Keep in mind, the final average includes all the assignments. And obviously you have not completed all the assignments yet. So that's why you should be focusing on the current average. The current average is your score for all completed assignments as of that date. So if you completed two and you received 100 on two, so of course 100%, or you did 10 and you received 100 on them, it's still 100%, okay? Your final average still might only be like 8% at that point. Well, keep in mind that will continue to go up as you complete the assignments throughout the semester. If you have any you know, questions about that, again, please feel free to reach out to me. That concludes the video. Again, you have my contact information. Don't hesitate to reach out. This should be a fun and exciting and challenging course. And let me know if you have any questions. Have a great semester.